In the last episode, we left Jeus Belmont. We killed we killed the Packmaster and the Cyclops, and pretty much explored the rest of the castle for what is needed. Unlocked the rest of the castle to explore. Um, I did a little bit of, as I mentioned before, I did a little bit of research just to figure out like where would I need to go to find these said artifacts, and that's what we're going to be doing for today. It's not going to be there's not a whole lot. That needs to be done. I just need to be. There's just basically a few places we need to go. We're going to be visiting, and we will be having to jump between several different parts of this castle because, conveniently, they're all hidden amongst every part of this castle, like under the sun. So, I'm going to try to get through this, get through a lot of these places as quickly as possible. There are probably a lot of cuts here and there. And it's more so for your convenience better than it's more it's more for your convenience really. And with that we got a nice little love love from those guys. <sighs> but yes. From what I was Go away. Spawning old bastard. But yes, we're getting we're, as I mentioned before, we are nearing, ne we're very quickly and slowly approaching the end of the game here, so. So not a whole lot left for us to do, outside of just gathering a few, gathering the remains of, Dra of Dracula, and potentially trying to save our friend Maxim from, you know, being evil and whatnot, because that would be really nice. And, you know, it's just... I guess the nice, the nice thing to do, I suppose, as it's like sort of our job as a Belmont to deal with Dracula and everything. Go away, Al. Stupid bird. All right. Now, I believe I don't recall where this place, where this particular area is called, but there is something we need from this place, basically. Which, the reason we need this, um, or, oh. the reason we need to get this particular item from here, from, from this area, is because it actually has something we, it has, it's going to be needed for us to get to a certain, to a certain item that, to one of the remains of Dracula, actually, more so. So in the meantime, we just gotta deal with more of these raids that are pretending to be Simon Belmont, which I still think is kind of humorous, honestly. Alright, and that is what we need actually, those boots. And the Noon Star is actually. I, I actually can't believe I got that, because that's actually gonna be. that's actually important. Um. Let me see if I can show this off. The Noon Star can only be seen at night. Um, what that will do, it actually unlocks a merchant for us. A, a merchant area for us in the clock tower. But yeah, those. the boots we got will basically. I'll demonstrate what those do very shortly, so in a quick break, I'll meet you guys at the castle entrance, so I'll be right back. Alright, and we are back over at the castle entrance. Now, the reason we need those crushing boots, if we go back up here, and if we high jump, um, pro you know, actually, I should probably, I should probably put those on, maybe. Basically, if we high jump, it allows us to actually break th break through, which now basically allows us to actually properly climb climb and scale through this place. Which it's like giving us more mana prisms, which are useful for our need. Uh, more importantly, it gives us the rib of Vlad, which surprise, surprise, surprise. Actually, no, where is it right now? Sorry, I, I'm struggling to figure out the right place right now. Oh, it's not there either. So I guess it is some relics. Yeah. Um, one, of Dracula, one of Dracula's body, bodily remains has the power to negate poison. So, it while we're using Dracula, finding Dracula's remains to eventually, you know, kill him and save Maxim, that his remains also unironically make us stronger in the process. So, that is always nice. So... With that, with that piece collected, I'm going to take us to the next available piece that I know, or at least the closest one that 
hopefully doesn't prevent me from... Actually, wait, wait, wait. Before I do that, there is actually something I can get us right now, which is going to be useful for later. You'll, you'll under, you guys will understand shortly. So, where we need to go now, I believe... Well, really, it's up here. We need to go back to... Rough, roughly to where, where we met the portal, basically, which... Doing so allows us to acquire a key, and gets us a key. This key will be important for later. And while I don't know where the key necessarily leads to, I just know it's, I just, or rather, I just know it's going to be important for later, so I figured pick it up now and just, so I don't have to worry about it after the fact, you know? Or in the off chance I end up having to take another brief break because of college from recording, and I forget again, because that would just be, well, foolish. Really clear bone. Yeah, and see? Now we no longer have to be poisoned anymore. Which is always, always, always helpful. But there's that. Uh, let me see, did I miss? No, okay, we're, we're still on the right track, which... Now we need to go up here, which... Just running back, running past these clear bones, because they're not worth anything. And there's the portal, but if we go down here, which, if I remember correctly, the other world we picked up a plat like a platinum tip, but I think I that was in a last like a later a failed state we get the lurky which uh, I think if we go look in here or there we go um, opens the gate that gives off a golden hue which I if I had to make an assumption also I'm gonna just quickly run through here just so I can get my that whip tip a whip upgrade at least I believe with that key it's going to probably be it's gonna allow us to go to the fi to the final area of the game, and I apologize, I, my finger accidentally hit the space bar, which speeds up the emulator. Yeah. So we now have elite. So now, if we want to, we can go to the we could be able to go to the final area of the game, which I'm assuming is like dead center in the map. Like, oh, I can't really use the point with my mouse, but I think you guys have a point. With with that in mind, we can. <laughs> Like, we, we can basically go to the final game of the year is what I'm trying to imply at this point, yes. But with that said, um, I'm going to take us to the next air, the next available, the closest part we can find, so I'll be there shortly and see you guys there. Alright, here we are back at the top of the top of the castle. We are making a, sw a brief war back into the first castle, to castle A. Because we are, happen to be very close by to another one of Dracula's remains. Which I think, if I recall, it's it's in this it's in this room. And more so the reason we weren't able to acquire this sooner, or I guess we could have gotten it much earlier, is just I never realized beforehand, but here it is, the Eye of Vlad, which I'll show what this what this guy does, which allows us to <laughs> negate the power of curses, which if anyone knows me, that basically is one of the few things you can tell me to make me a very happy person in this game, is say, I don't have to worry about getting cursed. Yay. Um, either way, without further delay, I will get us back over to the other, to the next part, so hold on real, just one second. And here we are, back to the Skyway. Um, very fond memories of this place. Not really, but the reason we are here is, well, first we're going to need our crushing stone back. Only temporarily, because this is actually where some of the more one of the trickier pieces are is located. Behind this wall. It's actually kind of... Kind of evil, and I guess it makes sense that I did have... I was wondering why I had a sinking suspicion one of these were breakable. This is why, for the heart of Vlad, which uh, again, sorry, I have to keep doing this. I just, I just saw where they went, but not where they, where they go to, which actually allows us to no longer be petrified as well. Which, that's a godsend, thankfully. Um, I'll take us straight to the next one, which I believe 
I believe is in the I believe our next one is inside the clock tower not that I'm too thrilled about that but it should be quick so I'll get us more or less towards it's towards where it where it is precisely so I'll be there shortly all right so we're back in more or less the same direction as we were we're back in the clock tower in the original room this is basically where the next part is all the way down here we're in I think this was also in a cancelled run due to like a death, but it is in this room actually. So, quick little run against the clock here. Basically, what you want to do for this room is you just want to run against that, but we're not going to do that because. I believe somewhere here there is like a secret, like kind of a hidden place we can enter from here, from somewhere. It's real. like, yeah, right, right here there's just a hidden wall. So we go down through here. And again, never mind the walking ball. Here is the third piece. This is another, probably not the most devious, but it's one of the more. Which gives us the fang, good old Vlad's fang, which uh, da, 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 increases our defense, which, oh man, wouldn't that have been swell for me to have earlier. So, as always, I will meet you guys back very briefly to where we need to go for the next, for the next remain, so I'll be there, sh be there shortly. And here we are, back in the back in the aqueducts, dealing with our good old friend the boomerang armor because, well, he has something of us we have to deal. He has, some, he's kind of guarding where we need to go. Which remember this wall that I kept wondering what was its purpose? Well, apparently, same reason, trickery. You had to go through four, and with that we can get the nail of Vlad, which leaves only really one more pe remains of Dracula to get, which. The nail also increases our offensive capabilities as well. So, with that said, I'm gonna get us back. I'm gonna take us very quickly back to our la to the last place we need to go to. So, I will be back very shortly. Yeah. And here we are, finally back in the marble corridor, where the last where the last remain of Dracula of Dracula should remain remains. Um, I had to do a lot of wiggling around just to get a, just to get over to get over back to this place, but for reference, we're right here, and the part is not far from our location currently. Which I believe it's up. It's gonna. It's up here. I think, or rather, I should say, I'm desperately hoping I can figure it out where it is very shortly because. I know I'm in the right area. Uh, okay, no, that's the that's the locked door, which we don't have to worry because that's because it's in here. It's in this general vicinity. I just need to get over here. I just need to. Which, yeah. Okay. Okay. Yeah. I know. I know. Okay. I know where it is now. I just had to check the map for a little bit of guidance, but basically, if we travel up here, there is a. There's, well, this chamber, which, remember, back then there was a ring we couldn't reach, which now we can. And it is actually Vlad's ring. And more so, more specifically, the final piece of Dracula's remains we needed of his worldly possessions that increases our luck. So, now that we have all of Dracula's remains, all there's left is just to, well, deal with Maxim. Which... If I'm recalling, or if I have a good guess, I know where he I know where he's hiding. It's that little central bit right there. Like, I will use my mouse to like hover over this so you guys can actually see. That is I where I believe our final battle is. So I think with this a lot of this exploration, I'm gonna have to do a lot of cuts for everything we've done. We have success with after, now that we've successfully collected all that remains of Dracula in this world, 
in the next episode, we will go after Maxim, confront him, and hopefully put an end to all of this. I have been your delightfully mad host, and this has been Castlevania. Take care, everyone. Bye. Ha, <laughs>